What's up guys, this is Mod6 and this is the fastest way to get gold camos on assault rifles in Call of Duty Mobile. I'll walk you through it from beginning to finish. We're gonna do an entire gun from zero kills to the gold camo. Let's go. All right, so to get this gold camo as quickly as possible, we're gonna start by going to multiplayer. We're gonna check the loadout and you see we've got the Swordfish MK2 as our gun. Now we're gonna start with no attachments. We've maxed the gun out with weapon XP cards. You should have enough weapon XP cards at this point to max this gun out. It dramatically speeds up the process that you can get the gold camo. So we've maxed it out with weapon XP cards, but you can see we have zero kills with the Swordfish. All right, so we're starting from nothing. Now, as we start, we're gonna be going for three objectives at the same time. We're gonna be going to hard point shipment and we're getting no attachment, hip fire, headshot kills. All three camos at once. So this is our loadout. I go with lightweight and then cold blooded and alert. And remember, we're going for hip fire, headshots, and this is a no attachment loadout. There's our headshot. It's helpful if we stay in the middle as close as we can to the hard point here. It's gonna give us the best chance to get a bunch of these in a row. That's exactly what we want right on the hard point. Even with a tough game for our first one, only 38 kills, we'll check what the camo looks like. All right, after this one, we have 38 kills here. We picked up 11 headshots, and then obviously we have 38 of the 80 required no attachment kills. So we should be able to get a high kill game on this one and pick up the rest of the no attachments on our second game, a bunch more headshots, and the rest of the hip fire on our second game. There's our headshot. Headshot. There's two more kills. There we go. That feels better. All right, let's check the score at the end of this one. After two games and a tough start, we have 69 kills. We are done with hip fire. We have no long shots. We have no full attachments, obviously. We have 16 of our 100 headshots. That's pretty good. And then no attachments. We need 11 more. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our 11 more no attachments. And then from there, we are just going to be going for headshots on shipment for the rest of that game. So this is gonna be no attachments and headshots, and that's how we're gonna work through the rest of this. As we go along, we're gonna switch, as soon as we finish up with our no attachments, we're gonna switch to long shots and we'll have a specific map and game mode combination for that. So let's get into this game and finish these no attachment shots. Now you might ask if I get a little bit frustrated during the grind. What? Fix the bug. I do. And sometimes I get a little tilted. How about that? You wanna run the dog? How about it? That's what happens when people overuse the dog in my lobby. And then we headshot him. Now that that's out of the way, back to it. Mm. 
Knocking him out. Working on those headshots. Easy headshots. Got a little headshot in at the end. We'll check the score. Made good progress on that one. On Sand, we have 106. On our headshots, we are 30 of 100. And then done with these. So now we can switch over because we're going to be pretty static in this game mode. And then the rest of this is going to stay the same. So this is the loadout we're going to use for long shots. We're going to take this loadout onto Domination on Rust. So this is the map we're gonna use. We're gonna use that loadout and we're going for headshots if we can get them, but it's primarily long shots and these are full attachment kills as well. So if we do this right, the longest thing that takes to finish is the total number of kills and the full attachment kills because the headshots and long shots come very quickly in these games. So when we start from this position, we're gonna go up onto the center tower. When we start from the other side, we have a different position that we get the long shots from. Headshots, long shots. I'm gonna get safe. Reload. Long shot. Stay on the outside here with some cover and still get a great shot at the long shots we're looking for here. Another long shot there. Around here. So this is going to the second spot. If we rotate around, if that's the way the game goes, then we're going to go back into this corner behind this container. That is... So from this position here, this point is a long shot. As you can see there. Oh, we got the assist. That's unfortunate. There we go. There's your long shot there. Another one. And there's one on that side. Now we're starting on this side for this game. So we're gonna stay behind this container. And again, we're not using score streaks. We're trying to get all of our kills as we go with just our primary weapon. All right, we're checking over here. Back to our spot here, and more long shots. All right, we'll check on this. Long shots for this game. Just one game, I'm telling you, I have a whole video just on long shots. This is the best method to get it done. Now, as we check the camos, we got 19 long shots on our first game. So this only takes about four games to knock out all of the long shots on this gun. That's a long shot right there. Nice lineup. <laughs> it's a good game. All right, now just after a couple more games, we have finished our long shots. So we're done with Rust on Domination. Just a few games on Rust Domination, you knock out all 80 long shots. Update on headshots, we're at 38 of 100 headshots. And so now we are gonna go back to Hardpoint on Shipment and everything is going to be about finishing out the last 353 of these kills. So this is the loadout we're gonna go on to 
hardpoint shipment with and we'll finish out the kills and the headshots with this remember it's aim high be disciplined with that shoot through the middle lanes and along the outside lanes so that you've got plenty of space plenty of opportunities to get those kills and it's everything is about the headshot there is one right there There's another headshot. Another headshot. Shots. Out, out hit fire the akimbo finnick what's up here we have 461 in the overall kills and in headshots we got 69 of 100 on our way I need 44 more kills and 13 more headshots. We could do that in one game. I think that did it. Let's see if we got the 13 headshots. How many do we have left? We have four headshots left. And then sand, we are done. So all we have to do is get four headshots. Kind of how I finish, like if I just need like one kill or four kills or something like that. I'll go to free for all on Kill House. It's the fastest possible game you can have. 20 kills on Kill House free for all happens really, really quickly. And this is the way we finish out the last 
game of the grind just to be as efficient as possible. We're gonna try and be disciplined, see if we can get four headshots on Kill House to finish the gold grind here for this gun. There's a headshot. Got the headshot. I think I just need one more. There it is. There's my four headshots. So I think that's gold. I think that's it, man. Easy work. Finished it off. Got my four headshots. Fast game. Fast game. We go to camo, completionist, and gold it is. So that's it. That's all it took. Swordfish worked through the first couple of camos with a specific map and loadout techniques that allow you to do multiple camos at once in every single game. Go for those high kill games, get the long shots on Rust on Domination, and then knock out the rest, grind out the rest of the kills and headshots on Shipment. It was pretty easy to do. Took uh, a little over an hour and a half to knock out the ARs. They take a little bit longer than shotguns. If you liked this content, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you loved it, subscribe, and I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one. Mod 6 out. <laughs>